business objects are data definitions that represent a core part of a business workflow. They are defined in blueprints. Business objects comprise fields, forms, grids, relationships, actions, and approvals. They also provide context for other Sharewell entities like one steps, expressions, searches, and widgets. These will be discussed elsewhere. Business objects come in four types major, supporting, lookup tables, and groups. Let's talk about each one of these individually. Major business objects are primary and standalone objects. In most cases, you'll have a major business object that represents an entire business process, such as incident management, change management, and problem management. Sharewell ships with default content that includes incident, change request, and problem major business objects, among others. Supporting business objects are not standalone business objects. They are secondary objects, usually owned by the major business objects that they support. Tasks, approvals, and journals are all supporting business objects. Lookup tables are primarily used for field validation on other objects, defining legal values for fields. Add, edit, and delete data in lookup tables in the table management feature of the Sharewell client. Finally, groups are clusters of similar business objects which share common fields. Groups can either be major or supporting business objects. Groups comprise a group leader object and one or more member objects. In Sharewell, configuration items and customer are examples of major group objects. Journals and specifics are examples of supporting group objects. Create group objects when you need to represent entities which share overlapping characteristics, but which are still discrete entities all the same. For example, servers and mobile devices are different real-world entities, but as configuration items in IT service management, they share overlapping characteristics, such as serial number, model number, vendor, IP address, and so on. This makes configuration item a good candidate for a group leader object, with server and mobile device as group members. Business objects are built from several different components, properties, field definitions, forms and grids, relationships, and form arrangements. Fields can be defined as being of one of four types, text, number, date, time, and logical, which is a true or false field. Fields have an extensive set of properties themselves, but that will be covered elsewhere. Most business objects require at least one form and at least one grid. Although you can have multiple forms and multiple grids per business object. Forms are for displaying data and for gathering user input of data. Grids are for displaying data. Both can be configured to conditionally hide and reveal and enable and disable controls. Relationships define how a business object is associated with other business objects. This is especially important for defining how supporting objects interact with their major objects. In this relationship, incident owns tasks, which means there is an owns relationship between incident and the task object. Relationship properties define the nature of that relationship. Form arrangements are the configuration of the tabs displayed at the bottom of a business object form in the Sharewell client. Tabs can be conditionally hidden or revealed. These tabs are based on relationships you define with other business objects. Business objects can be defined as internal or external. Internal business objects contain data which is created and maintained entirely within Sharewell. External business objects are linked to a data source outside of Sharewell, such as an SQL Server database or Active Directory. Finally, 
Business objects can define actions and approvals. Actions are commands that can be executed within the context of the business object. They can be executed by the user from the menu, the task pane, the toolbar, or the context menu. Or, they can execute automatically when the object is created or saved, or when the object moves from one state to another. Approval workflows can be built into each business object and let you define when approvals are triggered, who approves, and the conditions under which approvals are granted. Remember, changes to an existing business object or new business objects you create do not become part of the ShareWell database until they're published in a blueprint.